Well, a dog may be man's best friend, but is he man's best dinner companion? A bill goes to committee tomorrow that would allow restaurants and bars to allow dogs in their outdoor dining areas. Now, folks against it say no way, but many folks that Roosevelt Luckwich talked with thinks it's a great idea. He joins us now with the details. Rosie? Well, Kelly, how about crabs with your cocker spaniel, pie with your pit bull? It could be possible as lawmakers start debate tomorrow about bringing your dog to your favorite diner. Hello! What you doing, baby? Hello! John Warner Hello. loves dogs. Hello. I mean, he Hello. really, really, really loves dogs. At the Canton really? Dog Park, he sits that? on the ground at their level and just like feels the love. Good luck. <laughs> and the dogs feel the love from him as well. So naturally, he would love to take his buddies, Mom, Snowball, and Stevie Nicks, out for a night on the town at a nice, dog-friendly restaurant. It's everywhere in Europe dogs eat with France, everyone I mean, it's like it's just natural. You take your dog, you go to you go to you get your little bottle of wine from lunchtime, you sit on the table and you have a cafe and eat. I think um, we're a little bit behind as far as that concerned. And the proposal by delegate Dan Morheim would allow dogs to be at outdoor seating areas at restaurants with their masters. Restaurant owners like the idea because right now it's illegal to have a dog in a place where food is served. They say it would generate new business and perhaps offset some of the business they lost from the smoking ban. But for folks who don't like it, it's not necessarily because they hate dogs. It's that, well, they're dogs. Dogs can be nasty, sniffing behinds, running through other dogs' exhaust, walking in mud and smelling like, well, dogs. Not every dog owner is a good dog owner. And not every dog is, well, a nice dog. Some dogs are, well, jerks. They whine, they get too excited around other dogs or people and aren't socialized properly. And even people who love the idea of dogs in restaurants say they want to add just one caveat here. It has to be a well-trained, socialized dog before it's allowed to be in a restaurant. It, it gives a uh, pet owner uh, another environment to take their, uh, their pets with them. You know, um, the pets need to be well behaved, they need to be under control, but, you know, it, it, and that's the owner's responsibility. Debate starts tomorrow afternoon in the House Health and Government Committee. Roosevelt Leftwich, ABC2 News. All right.